taking action for you. 7 Action News at 5.30 starts right now. Day four of digging for answers in northern M Macomb County and still no human remains found out there. Police say as many as six girls could be buried there from murders dating back almost a half century. 7 Investigator Jim Kirchner live out near 23 Mile and North Avenue with a family coming out looking for answers, Jim. Glenda and Dave, let me set the stage for you. It is day four coming to an end and the search for today is over. Police will keep this site secure overnight and they say the dig will continue indefinitely. Family member showed up here. She was only nine years old when her sister, her older sister, disappeared 44 long years ago. She looked out into this field and said, I'm here for Nadine. You know, one day she was there and the next day she was gone. That's why I can't leave here. Her sister Nadine Odell has been missing since 1974 from Inkster. She, like all the other possible victims, was in her teens. The suspected killer, Arthur Ream, now 69 years old, doing life in prison. He led police to the body of 13-year-old Cindy Zarzicki 10 years ago in this same field. And now police believe as many as five more victims could be part of this case. Brenda and her husband came over from Hillsdale. She's hanging on to finding answers about her sister. I know this is the final act. I know this is it. Nadine's here. You believe that? Oh, I know Nadine's here. What tells you that? My heart. She calls Arthur Ream not just a serial killer, but a shopper who drove around Metro Detroit looking for his victims, teen girls at random. I want to come see him because you know what? If Nadine is here, if Nadine is here and I look like her so much, how does it feel? for the dead to look at you in the face. Police have said if they find any skeletal remains out here, there's a good chance they can get a positive ID with DNA. So it's all up there. So if they find anything and if it's any good, then we'll find out something more. I can tell you, you can hear pain, anger, and sorrow in that voice. There are 24 acres in this field, but they seem to be focused on this one area. No remains found today. They will continue this indefinitely. Live in northern Macomb County, Jim Kurtz, 7 Action News.